what's up? I haven't been super active on the channel lately, and um, I thought I would throw on the good old feather boa and uh, just talk about what's going on because the, the problem is is that I have a life now and so it's hard to juggle. Having a life and doing YouTube is something I've discovered. Um, it's a lot easier to do YouTube when you don't have a life and you don't have anything going on. But now I have things going on so it's a little harder to, to manage. Um, so I have not abandoned my channel. Although something that I've noticed interestingly enough is that the less I upload, the more subscribers I get. It's very bizarre. I got a, subscri a subscriber the other day, like yesterday, and I was like, who are you? Why are you following me? I haven't uploaded in a month. What could you possibly like about this channel? You know, like, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's, it's kind of, it's just kind of weird. Subscribe to me to make me upload less videos. <laughs> but anyways, um, I thought, uh, that I would do just a little, not quick, I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but just a video talking about life, what's up, what's going on, because many things have happened in the last couple of months, because I stopped uploading as much in May-ish. Earlier this year, I had basically just like a shitty job. I don't want to get into the specifics, but the point is, is that it was a remote job. Um, when I finished what I was supposed to do, it's, it was just going to be over. And I don't do well with remote work. Like, there's lots of people who've discovered that they do super well with it and more power to them. I'm one of those people that I need separation from work and home. Um, you know, I can't, you know, play games, do YouTube, chill out in my room, sleep in my room, you know, do whatever. But then also work in my room because I don't really have another place to work in the house and I just find that that does not go well with me and so basically I've just been dragging my feet on the job that I've been doing and um, I was not having a good time and so in my downtime I at one point decided to rewatch a let's play for um, uh, Until Dawn and Detroit Become Human. I watched the Christopher Odd let's plays and um because they're very good and i've always been kind of curious as to what goes on in the industry and also like how could i potentially play a part in that and so i decided to just look up the behind the scenes and i discovered um how they did the motion capture stuff and that they used actors in like these suits with these little uh balls all over them and then they use infrared cameras to capture the motion of the little balls and then you can put whatever you want onto those and i thought that was so cool i was like yo that's mind-blowing that rules can i do that and then i was like eh, i'm not gonna do that that's like unrealistic i mean i had i've done a couple of little acting things here and there and that, those were always the times where i was happiest but at the same time the acting world is way too intense and i'm not really interested in that and so i just sort of was like, eh, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to pursue this. But at the same time, it just sort of sat in my brain. You know when you have an idea and it just won't go away? So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to look up mocap, see if there's anything in Canada, because Canada is kind of a barren wasteland as far as I'm concerned for pretty much anything. Turns out it's not. Apparently Montreal is like the fucking gaming hub of the world almost. It's not, but like in Canada at least. Um, like, Montreal is huge for gaming. I had no idea. Um, but I was looking up motion capture stuff and, like, is there anyone I can just talk to? I don't know. And I discovered the mocap vaults, um, which is basically this program where you can do, learn how to do mocap work. And so I... Uh, saw that they were running a workshop in Montreal and that's not too crazy far from where I live I mean, it's a drive but like it's not the end of the world. So I was like, you know what? I looked at the price. I was like, oh, it's a little expensive, but you know what? I'm gonna do it because I'm basically rotting in my room The worst case scenario is I don't like it But at least I can take that as a learning experience and get rid of the thoughts because it was the concept of me becoming a mocap actor was plaguing my mind. It was, it would not go away. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try it. And so I bought my, I got my spot. 
Um, it was run by Pascal Langdale. He is the guy who played Ethan Mars in um, Heavy Rain. And so I went to the workshop. It was two days. It was on a Saturday and a Sunday um, at Squeeze Studio in Montreal. And I absolutely loved it. I had a ton of fun. And, but you know, I was like, it was fun, but you know, I don't think I'm going to pursue this. But when, like at the end of the second day, I was sitting in the parking lot and I was going to get ready to drive home. And I just had this really intense urge to cry and I didn't know why initially. But when I thought about it, I realized, oh, it's because I don't want this to end. I don't want this to be the last time I put on a mocap suit. I don't want this to be the last time that I do this sort of acting thing because what I love about mocap compared to traditional acting is I like that it's not like just your face I say as I make a YouTube video. I, I just like the possibility like you can be anything like you could be Gollum, you could be a dragon, you could be you, you could look like you, you know, you could and I don't know just the idea of specifically video games though I really love the idea of being able to be part of like be part of the storytelling medium for video games because when I think of the skills that I have like I have no coding skills or experience or even or interest like I'm just not interested in the technical side from like a coding perspective I'm not super artsy so like I wouldn't be good at creating monsters or creatures like I could maybe do story like writing something like I could help write a story but acting I could I could feasibly do like I could learn I have a tiny teeny tiny bit of acting experience I've been recommended and told that I should be an actor um by people and so I was like well maybe this could be a thing maybe I could do acting for mocap and so I asked for advice on things to do and so um, what I like actually about the mocap faults program is that it, it could have been just like one really intense week if they really wanted to But it's multiple workshops and they spread it out over months So like I did the introduction to mocap and heroes of monsters one on one weekend and they have heroes of monsters two hopefully coming out in This upcoming October Not sure. Maybe I have no idea. Um, it depends on like attendance and stuff like that but um, what's really nice is that I was, you know, I asked basically, like, what can I do between May, which is, like, now, which is what was May at the time, and Heroes of Monsters 2. What can I do in that time period? And I was given a bunch of advice, so stuff like, you know, mocap, like, for acting is very physical, which I really like, and so I was recommended to start doing something, um, you know, more than just running. <laughs> and so I looked into, um, you know, what would be some good skills to have, you know, like something like stunt like some it's stunt adjacent, you know, if I can do the majority of my own stunts, if I can have really good control of my body and really good sense of my body, which I generally don't have, um, that could be a huge advantage. And so I like, as soon as I got home, I started re re researching stuff like parkour and gymnastics or whatever. And I ended up picking up gymnastics, I found a gymnastics place somewhat near my house. And um, so I did that. Um, I also, so I started to do gymnastics three times a week, um, which has been really good for me because it's gotten me out of the house and now I actually talk to people. I mean, I don't talk to the people at gymnastics, but like I'm interacting with other humans that aren't my immediate family, let's put it that way. Um, and then I also got, um, what is it? I, I also did um, parkour. I started to do like parkour stuff um, and that's been really cool. That's just once a week. Um, but I've really enjoyed it because I've gotten a much, I, I really like this these kinds of exercises because I don't like just lifting weights in the gym. I'm not that kind of person. I need t things to be varied. And so that's what I really like about the parkour and like free running and stuff like that is that it's all, um, it's very focused on just having control over your body and making like having a wide range of motion available to you and being getting stronger. Like I've gotten a lot stronger. For example, um, in like our third week of when I started doing the parkour stuff, I could barely dead hang for, which is like when you just are holding onto a bar. <laughs> oh, look at me. When you're just holding onto a bar, just like hands up, um, just like hanging there, just dead hang, you're just hanging there. Um, I could barely do it like I let go of the bar immediately but 
you know, after a couple months of work, I can now dead hang for a minute and a half. Um, I can do a one-handed dead hang too, which it's given me so much appreciation for how unrealistic movies are. You know, when people are like, I'm on the cliff, I'm letting go, oh no, I'm only hanging on by one hand. Try hanging on by one hand as an adult with no training. It's really hard. I discovered you you are so much heavier as an adult. <laughs> monkey bars are so easy when you're a kid. But now I'm able to do the monkey bars with relative ease. So yeah, I've been doing really well in terms of parkour things. Like my balance has gotten better. I just have a better sense of my body and space, which is obviously hugely important for mocap because it's all about your body in the space, in the volume. And so I've started to do those sorts of things. I also recently got a job that I actually like and it's a somewhat active job. I don't really know if I wanna say what it is right now, but I will eventually give a grand reveal for my job. It's not like a crazy job or anything like that, but I mean, it's kind of nuts. I don't know. I'll tell you eventually. Um, <laughs> and so I got, but point is, is I recently got a job and it's only part-time right now. Hopefully I'll get to full-time, but what I really like about it is that I like it. Um, like I was, like I really like my coworkers. My coworkers are super chill. It's a great work environment. I actually like my boss. Um, and I look forward to going to work, which is super cursed. I was like, this job, there's something fucked up about this job. Like, why do I enjoy going to work? This has never happened to me before. So it was very cursed the first time I had, like I woke up one morning and I was like, oh, I get to go to work today. Um, and I'm like, oh, who am I? What has happened to me? Who does that? Who thinks like that? Apparently that's what it's like to have a job that you like. And I mean, it is considered menial work. Um, you know, it's kind of like a someone has to do it sort of job. And it's overall just a really, been really good for me to, uh, you know, actually get a job. And so now I can actually finance my acting shit. And hopefully the mocap vaults will come uh, soon. <laughs> hopefully we'll get to the mocap vaults soon. And uh, yeah, I've just been doing really well lately. And so I haven't, I don't know, my mind's just been on other stuff. I haven't really thought about like, okay, I'm gonna make a YouTube video now. Um, although I am working on my, again, I am working on episode 25 for my Minecraft series. It's just that it's eight hours worth of footage and I'm still going through it. That was a mistake. I should not have given myself that many hours of footage. Ugh. Um, but I, like I actively work on my Minecraft world. Like I spend multiple hours a week working on it. It's just that I don't film as much. Um, or they're just like tasks to do. Um, so like they're just chore based things or just really repetitive stuff. Like for example, the redstone for my storage um, unit is just the same thing. It's just a matter of get like a stack of the resources, just get enough redstone, just put, put the stuff in. You know, I haven't done any building for it. And so I'm just trying to finish the redstone of the storage system so that I can get that out of the way and then I can start to build. The thing is, I, like, I am motivated to make YouTube videos. It's just that I'm not motivated to make YouTube videos. It's very weird. The thing is, I have so many plans. It's just a matter of actually executing those plans. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, here's a quick thing that I can show you real quick. I bought another Nalgene water bottle. <laughs> So I got this one, right, a while back. Well, I wanted a smaller version because this is a pain in the ass to lug around everywhere and it doesn't fit my car really well. Um, so I got this little one. So it's like, don't talk to me and my, my son ever again. It's kind of nice having goals, I suppose, uh, like non-YouTube goals, like just life goals of do my job and do it well and then Hold, like kind of work through and do some mocap stuff and acting and maybe one day be in a video game. That'd be fucking awesome if I could be in a video game. Like I can just imagine, like, I don't know, one of my, like watching Let's Players play, play as me, like that'd be so sick. I would love to be in a video game. Um, you know, like I'm not asking for the main role, although I would accept a main role. Um, you know, I just, I just want to be in a video game one day. That'd be really fucking cool. If anyone watching this has connections to the gaming industry, I am not ready to be a mocap actor. I have not done enough training and not enough acting training. So like, don't fucking sign me up for anything. 
but if you know anyone, <laughs> hit me up because I would not mind, you know, starting to get connections in the industry and maybe one day get being in a position where I can audition and then maybe I'll be good enough that they'll pick me and then I'll be a I'll be an actor, you know? Like Again, I don't really like TV acting. I have zero interest in that. Like, the only thing that I'm interested in when it comes to the t movie or TV industry is I really, really, genuinely want, if you said you can have any role you want in the TV or movie industry, I want to be a screaming passenger on May Day. That is the only thing I want from movies or, or, or TV or whatever, anything that involves my face, it, YouTube, and I want to be a screaming passenger on Mayday, and that's it. After that, I don't give a shit. I want to be in video games only. <laughs> that's my life. That's what I've been doing lately. I've been in a really good spot, which is really nice change of pace in terms of my life to finally be in a in a good place. You know how you know how people online or YouTubers are are always like, I was in a dark place. Well, you know what? I'm in a light place. I've been doing good lately, and I just thought that I would share that with you people and just letting you know that life does improve if you are struggling it's such a cliche but life does improve and does get better and it does help to get out there and put yourself out there and to have a bit of a fuck it moment every once in a while because me doing the mocap vaults was a complete just impulse purchase just impulsive decision of I am rotting in my room anyways I might as well do something else and just see where that takes me and it worked out really well and I'm doing very well and so you know if you see an opportunity just take it just take it you know, weigh the pros and cons if the worst thing that's gonna happen is you realize you don't like something and then at least you can cross it off your list and you know that you don't like something so that's my a useless piece of advice for the day. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm gonna, I just wanted to upload something just to be like, hey, I'm still alive. Um, Cause I haven't even been uploading to like anything else like Tumblr or Instagram. I haven't been posting anything there, so I'm still alive. Uh, anyways, peace.